Today, we are talking about the future of the pickup truck. We'll see how legendary truck manufacturers are shifting from gasoline to electric and how this will impact the capabilities of trucks in the future. We'll also look at some of the most popular pickup trucks in America and how they're going electric. Plus, we'll also preview some new players that are entering the market. So buckle up and let's get going. Last year, some 14.5 million passenger vehicles were sold in the United States. Guess how many of them were light trucks? 11 million. This is why leading truck manufacturers are racing to go electric. It's also the reason why new players are entering the market. Some come with higher price tags, each one for various budgets and styles. There's a lot of hype around the F-150 Lightning and the Cybertruck. But from the looks of it, do you know which car maker will ship the first electric truck to market? The Rivian R1T may very well win the race of being the first to deliver. Of course, launch schedules are subject to change, but Rivian said it would begin to deliver the launch edition of the R1T electric pickup the second half of this year with other versions available in early 2022. The Rivian R1T isn't just a workhorse. This pickup has been designed specifically to handle any adventure. Interestingly, when Rivian was developing the electric pickup, they tested its reliability by hiding the electric vehicle's powertrain under the bodies of other trucks. They even attached fake tailpipes to mask the fact that it was electric. These trucks were further tested on a 13,000 mile journey between parts of South America and Los Angeles. The purpose was to demonstrate its reliability and endurance in harsh weather and off-road conditions. Its four engines propel the pickup to 60 miles per hour in three seconds, and it boasts a towing capacity of up to 11,000 pounds. The Rivian R1T kicks off with first edition of seven $73,000. The Explore package will be available starting around $68,000. Both packages can be configured with either a large pack 300 plus mile battery or the Max Pack a 400 plus range battery. The Max Pack battery will be available in early 22 with a premium price tag of $10,000 extra. The next electric truck we expect to hit the road should be the Tesla Cybertruck. Its production will begin later this year. There's been a lot of news around that. It has a futuristic look and it's engineered to have the functionality of a truck and the performance of a sports car. Cybertruck uses an exoskeleton, which is a one-piece structure like most passenger cars. That is unique because it's not a body on frame, which is typical for most trucks. Unlike most pickups, the Cybertruck has no wheel recesses, so its trunk is roomier than other electric trucks. As for acceleration, the Cybertruck claims to get from 0 to 60 in less than 2.9 seconds. And all of this with the ability to tow a load of 14,000 pounds. Cybertruck will be available with three different electric drivetrain options. Single motor rear wheel drive, dual motor all wheel drive, and the top tier tri-motor all wheel drive. One of the most impressive features of the pickup is the battery range. The entry level single motor model will have a range of over 250 miles. And the dual motor Cybertruck will have a range of 300 miles. However, Tesla estimates that it's top tri-motor Cybertruck's range will be more than 500 miles. That would make it better than any other electric trucks in the market and it will help set a high standard for the industry. Next up is Ford F-150 Lightning. The F-150 Lightning will be able to tow up to 10,000 pounds and carry up to 2,000 pounds of payload. It also features a super versatile front trunk, commonly called a frunk. The mega power frunk, as Ford calls it, it's large and measures 14.1 cubic feet. It's power operated and water resistant. In addition, Lightning will be released with many useful features that aren't yet available in other electric trucks. For example, the Pro Power onboard system allows you to use power tools electronics and household appliances away from homes. For this purpose, as many as 11 outlets are provided in the pickup. This extends beyond the truck as well. The F-150 Lightning can also power your home in the event of power failure. Ford says extended range models should allow the average home to be supplied with electricity for three days, assuming 30 kilowatt hours per day, or about 10 days if the capacity is rationed. If that's not enough, this twin electric engine pickup delivers 563 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and 775 pound feet of pork off road. The range, depending on trim, will be between 230 to 300 miles. And the top tier model can accelerate to 60 in 4.4 seconds. We can expect to see some of these electric trucks on the roads in the spring of 2022. If you haven't seen my video about the F-150 Lightning, check it out. If you want to compare the pricing of these EVs, the F-150 Lightning has a huge leg up here. Pricing starts at just below $40,000 for the commercial twin engine variant, about $53,000 for the XLT, 
feet and a bit over 90,000 for the platinum. Cybertruck is second in pricing. It's nearly 40,000 for the rear wheel drive single engine model with 250 mile range. The Rivian R1T has a $68,000 price tag for the base model and almost 100,000 for the fully loaded. But here's a question. Will Ram or Toyota make an electric pickup? Well, Toyota has not officially confirmed it will jump into the all-electric pickup truck market. Ram recently confirmed the 2024 fully electric Ram 1500 pickup. No technical specs have been given except statements that they intend to offer more range, power, productivity, and convenience. The Ram 1500 EV will use the STLA Ram platform with a projected 500 mile range set to outbeat the Ford F-150 Lightning. Now, if you think the electric truck market will be limited to well-known brands, then you're in for a surprise. The electrification of the auto industry is driving innovation after innovation. In fact, there are at least 10 new players that will be ending the market very soon. Take, for example, the Bollinger B2. The B2 is due to start production this year. Detroit-based Bollinger Motors presents a boxy aluminum pickup with dual motor configuration, one per axle. The B2 is powered by a 120 kilowatt hour battery that provides a range of approximately 200 miles in a single charge. We're talking 614 horsepower, 668 pound-feet of maximum torque, and 15-inch ground clearance. Its price tag is $125,000, and it's because this no-nonsense pickup is assembled by hand. Then there's the Lordstown Endurance. The truck is being manufactured in an old Chevrolet cruise plant in Ohio. It's the first commercial truck to be powered by four separate motors at each wheel hub. According to Lordstown Motors, this design reduces the number of moving parts and significantly improves the car's handling while minimizing maintenance costs. The Endurance has a 109 kilowatt hour battery pack that should provide a range of around 250 miles. The projected output is 600 horsepower. In September this year, the company plans to begin production of its first thousand trucks. Pricing should be a bit under $53,000. Earlier this year, GMC unveiled the Hummer electric pickup. Its total output will be 1,000 horsepower generated from three electric motors, enabling the Hummer EV to go zero to 60 in three seconds. Plus, GMC estimates the new truck's range will be 350 plus miles on a single charge. One unique feature of the Hummer EV is crab mode. All four wheels turn in the same direction, allowing it to move diagonally. Can't wait to see that move in person. The Hummer EV Edition 1 will be priced around $113,000, with more trims to follow. The Edition 1 is expected to start production this autumn with other versions to follow next year. Also last April, Chevy confirmed plans to produce the all-electric Silverado pickup. It's safe to assume it will be a truck based on the new GM Altium platform and new battery technology with an estimated range of 400 miles. There hasn't been much details released yet, but production is slated to start in late 2022 or early 2023. Now let's look at the Atlas XT. Its projected towing capacity is impressive, up to 35,000 pounds. Its payload, also impressive, up to 5,000 pounds. That's not all. The truck can also be configured to travel up to 500 miles on a single charge, depending on battery pack. The options include a 300 and 400 mile range battery pack. Pricing for this beast will range approximately 45,000 to 85,000 for the 500 mile range model. Sales should begin next year. Have you heard about the Hercules Alpha? Hercules Electric Vehicles is a new company based in Detroit. It was founded in December 2018 by James Brewer, who is the lead powertrain engineer for the Chevrolet Volt and the lead design engineer for the Chevy Spark. The Alpha will have a range of more than 300 miles, a quad engine, and an all-wheel drive system capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in four seconds. We'll have to wait until 2022 or maybe later. Then there's the Fisker Alaska. It's set to be the most environmentally friendly vehicle using recycled plastic foam from ocean debris and recycled tire waste, vegan leather included. The top tier model will feature a solar roof. Well, even the suede used in the interior is recycled from plastic bottles and old t-shirts. The ultra high performance version of the Fisker Ocean will be able to accelerate zero to 60 in less than three seconds, which is faster than the high performance version of the Tesla Model Y. According to unofficial sources, Nissan may soon join the growing number of manufacturers who are going electric. The all-electric Nissan Titan is said to use the battery electric powertrain from the startup, Hercules Electric Vehicle. At the same time, Hercules Electric Vehicles will use the Nissan Titan parts in its project. And there's another startup from California. The Alpha Wolf is being made for those who love small two-seater pickups and love travel on the off-beaten path. The Wolf will be available in a configuration with one engine and front-wheel drive or two engines and four-wheel drive. It will have a range of 250 to 275 miles, a towing capacity of 3,000 pounds, and will go from zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds. Pricing will start at $36,000. Delivery is set for 2023. 
Another California player is the Canoe Electric Pickup Truck. It's only 184 inches long, 78 inches wide, and 76 inches high with a wheelbase of 112.2 inches. Canoe says it will provide a range of over 200 miles with up to 600 horsepower and 550 pound-feet with a dual engine option. This pickup will also feature a payload capacity of 1,800 pounds. The Canoe Pickup comes with several folding work surfaces. The promotional images also feature a truck version with the roof rack and even an overlander version with a camping trim and pop-up tent. Delivery is targeted to begin in 2023. So as you can see, this year is just the beginning of electric trucks. But now you tell me, which electric truck are you looking most forward to and why? Please comment below and share. If you like this episode, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your support.